Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Is It Worth Watching? This will be a series where I will review UFO documentaries to help you determine whether it's worth watching for you, depending on different viewer criteria. Criteria will be broken down into what I consider the four different types of viewers. Number one, the casual viewer. People who are interested in UFOs but mainly for entertainment purposes, but aren't entirely invested. Think ancient aliens. Two would be the traditional believer. This viewer likes to consume information on the silver discs, tic tacs, cigar UFOs, and your typical gray. The next type of viewer would be the fourth kind enthusiast. This is the type of viewer that likes to hear abduction stories as well as close encounters. And lastly, what I like to call the all in researcher. This is someone who seriously seeks information on all of the aforementioned but also focuses on all aspects and theories on the UFO subject. This would be the more hardcore researcher. After looking into the viewer criteria, I will be giving you my honest opinion on the film. Today we will be reviewing a documentary called Touched. It can be found on Amazon Video and is a UFO TV production. It was made in 2003 and its description says, when Harvard psychiatrist John Mack approaches filmmaker Lara Chetan, asking her to make a movie about close encounters with aliens, she thought he was crazy. But after meeting some of the so-called experiencers, she was intrigued. They seemed rather normal and spoke about feelings of connection and longing for these uninvited intruders to return. Now I'll give you an idea what happens in the film without giving you too many spoilers. That way if you decide to watch it, you'll still find it entertaining. This film starts with Laura, the filmmaker, in an airport with Karen, who will be our first abductee featured. Karen goes into her story about how it all started, and how she had an experience as a child while outside playing with a bubblegum machine that she loved. She speaks how she had a close encounter with a being, and how she experienced lost time, as well as losing her toy as a child. This becomes important because the film later reveals what happened to the bubblegum machine towards the end of the film. Her experiences follow her into her adulthood and change her life forever as she apparently goes through some physical and psychological trauma. Our second case is one of Peter and Jamie. They were your typical married couple with a normal life. All is normal until one day Peter begins to have abnormal sleep experiences. Waking up in the middle of the night, feeling awful, then in the morning having strange marks on his body. Around this time he hears from a friend about Dr. Mack. And this is where Dr. Mac comes into the film, to me probably being the main attraction in this film. For those who don't know, John Mack is a Harvard clinical psychiatrist, UFO abductee researcher, and one of the most influential figures in ufology. In this film, he goes into how he got into the field of ufology and how he met Bud Hopkins, another notable figure in the field of UFOs. John Mack helps Peter recall his terrifying experience. He also helps Karen through her experiences as well, as she writes him a letter asking for his services. Through John Mack, this film takes a deep dive and tries to get to the bottom of this abduction phenomenon. In this film, more authors, Harvard personnel, and even demonologists appear to comment on the subject. Aside from Peter and Karen, two more abductee stories have a smaller feature in this film, but are still interesting to hear. Both of them are from Brazil. Lupa being one of them, and Marco Antonio being another one, sharing their unique experiences as well. So who should watch this film? I believe the casual viewer would not really enjoy this documentary. To a person who's not genuinely invested in the subject, this film will not offer any sort of flashy images or box office entertainment. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, I would give this film a 1 for the casual viewer as I feel they would not enjoy it. The traditional UFO believer I think would come out with some interesting information out of this film. However, this film does not offer any footage of any craft or aliens or even any sort of graphics to tantalize the imagination. It really more explores the mind of the abductee and attempts to decipher their stories. For the traditional viewer, I would rate this a 5. For the fourth kind enthusiast, I would give this documentary a 9. From the stories that the uh, abductees tell to John Mack's expert analysis, I think you'd really enjoy this film if you're interested in the contactee experience. For the more hardcore viewer, the person that is all in, I would rate this film a 6. 
Why? Because this film focuses entirely on the people and not so much the vast field of ufology. So if you're looking for theories to help you unravel the bigger picture of ufology, this film will probably not do it for you, but still does offer expert analysis from John Mack of what's going on in this phenomenon, which is very interesting to watch. Now for my opinion. But before that, something I want to say about me, the reviewer. I've been a big fan of ufology and have followed the subject for about 30 years or so now. Something I always try to do these days is always go into a story or video with a healthy amount of skepticism. And sometimes when a story seems too hard to believe, I take it as that, a story. And I listen because, well, why not? At the very least, it can be entertaining and maybe I can even learn something. That being said, Touched is a well done film. What I really enjoyed about the film is that it didn't use any special effects of aliens or ships to get their point across. The film really focused on the people and their stories, as well as the analysis of experts. I also liked that the documentary seemed to take a serious approach at the subject, and I appreciate that. The testimonies seemed to be genuine and very much in line with your typical abduction stories. On my own personal scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this film a solid 7.5. The stories are great and engaging, the input from Dr. Mack is informative, and while this film offers no real smoking gun, the human aspect of this documentary makes this UFO doc something special and worth a watch. Thanks for sticking with me. Please like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos, watching these films for you and letting you know before you watch is it worth watching?